if I had a router and I could log into it, what can I block at the router level? Well, I'm pretty sure you can block ICMP or IC, IMC. You can block pinging, um, and hackers use that. They will like do, do an encapsulated ICMP or whatever, and it will allow them to go through your network um, by sending that type of by having that port open. But as long as you have that port closed, um, they're limited to hitting your web browser. So um, like with like HTTP or HTTPS, which um, I don't know, like you, ha they, you have to be involved with that. But um, ICMP is a pretty common thing for people to use. All right, so what else can you block at the router? Like UPnP, if you really need to, universal plug and play. But I, you, you have to get careful. Be, but like, that, if you're not, u that's only if you're not using it. But um, there are a lot of things that, like, like, but pinging, you don't use it. But that might piss off your company, that like your your ISP. But um, not if your internet doesn't mess up, and that shouldn't mess up your internet at all. Um, but um, so. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing to know about. Um, anything you can block further down, like layer three, layer two, might as well block it. Uh, and that's why, um, like, the best way to have a network is to have a wired network and not a wireless network, and to do MAC address filtering on the layer on layer two with 802.1x, uh, and then having uh, a, an intrusion detection system look for duplicate. Um, MAC addresses, but if there's nowhere to plug in, um, then there's nowhere to plug in. And so, um, I mean, if it's all wired, I mean, do you, do you, do you even need it, um, an IDS as long as you are doing MAC address filtering and um, you're only allowing those computers to be on the network? But it really depends on how complex the network is. But um, if, I w if I had my own home network and I was building a house, I would say, all right, here's the thing. I want it to be wired um, and I want to be able to plug in my computer here. Um, and But then again, would I – it depends on if I like having a wireless network, which I do. And, I mean, you can still have wireless network. It's safe. It's just you've got to have it kind of a, a distance and if anybody can wireless network is never really that safe but it is safe but it's not um but it is i mean obviously it took them that long to hack me i, I thought you guys got me a long i thought everyone got me a long but i always as assume everyone's got me and it turns out that like i had you but then you were blocking vpns at the router and um you were blocking icmp and i was i was having a lot of trouble having you and you were doing mac address filtering at layer three because can you um, say that only these com these devices are allowed on my network? Yeah, that's pretty easily pretty easy to do. Um, yeah, I guess computer security is not that hard. Once you once you realize like how hard you can make it on people just by doing the basic things that are there when you log into the router, and then you you make a make make a really difficult password for the router because they can't really practice they can't really do a lot of attempts on your router I don't think without getting blocked out um, and then you can have logs get sent to you that are saying hey someone's trying to log into your router and failing at it um, but I don't know um, yeah that's that's where the real security happens I guess now that I think about it at the router level 